Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday on terrain. Once again, terrain's a great topic. Why not do it again? Let's get started. So I'm working on Chief Architect Premier version X14 because uh, that's what my client's using. So I need to pass this on to them. Um, I wanted to show you some of these. I wanted to show you some of these pictures to kind of get an idea of how the terrain is changing. The garage was measured at 14 inches below first floor. You can see here, I've got one, two, three steps. So that's 21 to 24 inches below first floor. Coming around the back, it's hard to tell here. We've got a full basement underneath there, but zooming in on this, you can see this is definitely, so if that deck is at first floor level, that's definitely like eight or nine, 10 inches. And that's, you know, probably two feet. So this is, I'm guessing, 30 to 36 inches below first floor. And as I zoom out, you can see how this is kind of sloping down. This is sloping down back this way. That car is definitely, the rear is, the rear of the car is sloping toward the front of the house. So what I do in this case, since I don't have um, exact elevations, I'm going to set this terrain at zero inches. So if I left it alone, the grade would be all at first floor level. Well, I know this here is at the garage is 14 inches. So I'm going to say minus 15 so that it, there's a, we put the driveway in there. You're not going to get a gap. Um, I'm going to draw another one here at the front door. Elevation line doesn't need to be this wide. And let's say that's minus 24. And we'll put another elevation line at the back door and change that to minus 36. The reason I like doing this at zero is I know these numbers. If I did this at minus 24, then I'd have to figure out what the difference is from here to here. That's plus 10 and this is minus 12. Why not just set it set the terrain at zero. And I know this number is minus 14. This is minus 24. This is minus 36. This, I know, remember, this is sloping down again. So um, let's say this is a, this back door area is at, uh, let's say, minus 16. Let's say this is going down to minus 30. also minus 30 something like that and if we take a rendering of that there's the front you can start seeing how this is sloping down to the right difficult to tell but that is definitely sloping down that way this is sloping down toward the rear. That may be too aggressive of a slope. So let's, let's turn on our terrain elevation data, primary contours. There we go. So let's control this. Maybe this is, um, minus 48 out here. You can see gentle slope here, gentle slope going down that way, gentle slope going down this way. Maybe we'll throw in a driveway, out like so. You can see how that's working. 
quick tip for terrains. As I said, I like to set the terrain perimeter at the zero first floor level. I already know what this elevation is. I know what this elevation is around the back. It just makes it really easy to work from zero um, to set that, set those heights. And then if you have just some control elevation lines out here, kind of let chief architect create those slopes for you. If you want this slope to really kind of go like this, I just decrease the length of that uh, control line, elevation line, and build our terrain again. There you have it. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like this information, please click like and subscribe right down there. Otherwise, have a great week.